Hello, I'm Anne and welcome to Chronically Beautiful where we are trying to live our best life even though we probably don't feel like it. And if you want to learn how to get this look with this thing, keep watching. All right, so the deal with the InStyler is that it's got these little brushes on this side and then it's got this curling barrel thing over here. And all you have to do is close it and that thing spins. So you turn it on, it's got a blinking light here. I think that it stops blinking once it's completely lit up. So we're gonna go ahead and just section the hair off while we wait. So what you're supposed to be able to do with this is straighten your hair or curl it, but you take it and you, whoops, depending on which way you wanna go. So, ow, you wanna go under, I go like that, but here's what I'm finding. Right out of the gate, when I use a small piece, look what happens. It shoots my hair out the back end. When you get to the end of it, it like shoots the hair out and then it doesn't give you a nice curl under. But I found that if I use bigger pieces, because I did use this to straighten my hair already, and you move a little more quickly, it doesn't do that. So it, it, it really, I have not gotten it to make a good curl under yet. But what I'm really interested in doing today is curling with it. So what they are doing that I've seen on YouTube is that you take it. Oh, no, just kidding. This is going to be the time iron all over again. I know it. You do this without burning yourself. This is madness. Uh, th this, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way. You take it. I'm not even worried about what direction I'm curling because I just want to get a curl. And you bring it around and then you close it. And that's supposed to be curling it. And then you come out. And that did not do anything. Let's try it on like a long piece. So here is a little bit longer of a piece. And we're going to try it again. So we're going to go around, around, and around. And here we go. I don't know if it's going the right way or what. I'm sorry I haven't been looking at you. There's a mirror here now. Look, I'm an Instagrammer. All right, I'm gonna let go now. Oh, now that's really pretty. Okay, so what did I do differently? I just let it go that time. I didn't like slide it down. All right, let's try it on this little short piece again. Maybe if I use a smaller piece. Shoot, it's hard to get it on there. Maybe it's all the way heated up now. It's pretty hot. It doesn't have a gauge to tell you how hot it gets. So I'm not gonna hold this on for now because I don't wanna be in one of those vine compilations where they burn their hair off. So I was basically, oh. So I, I take that back. I don't recommend this iron. It's hot. Just, it's hot. All right. So that kind of worked. I did not put any product on my hair at all whatsoever. It's got like a day's worth of grease. That's about it. Okay, sort of. What's nice about this is that you don't have like a thumb clip because it just you just squeeze it, which is kind of cool. Does its thing. I think if I held it longer, it would do more. That's what she said. But this is like a a kind of a loose beachy wave kind of situation. Let's try a smaller piece. Let's go in like this. We're just gonna keep at it. <laughs> So on the right side of my face, I'm having to take my left hand and pointing down. And if I wanted to go backwards, I'm going like this, away from the face, and then holding it. And this is something you're gonna use for that, like your ends aren't gonna get curled under on this thing because you kind of have to hold the ends. This is not super comfortable. It reminds me a lot of how you have to hold your hand for the, um, the time iron thing. It's very similar. You have to hold your hand upside down on one side of your face and regular on the other side, um, which is not super comfortable. Honestly, right now that 
Beach Waver dupe that I've been using. And so I assume also the Beach Waver are really the winners right now because you can go any direction you want. Your hands are never having to go over your head. That one's winning in my book. And I will link it down below. And probably there'll be a card up above as well. But I, I highly recommend looking into that guy. These are making, this is making nice curls though, I will say. And I liked it a lot, like I said, for straightening. This is not going to be a straightening video because um, once I curl, I'm going to leave them curled. Because why waste a good hair curling day? I think there was too much hair in that one. I think too, as I'm putting it on, it's twisting. So you want to try to not let it twist in there. This one's not twisted. <laughs> Way. I think on the pro version of this you can change the direction that this barrel spins it only spins one direction on the regular version so I think what's happening on those ones that are coming out kind of weird is that I'm holding it in one direction and it's spinning in the other direction and that's not good so yeah so you might just have to figure out your math on that or use it as a wand in those places until I can figure out which way to hold it and which way to turn it and whatever so it turns clockwise so what does that mean for this let's try to go this way with it yeah I can feel that going the right way it's not like pulling with this shirt and these curly hair I feel like the like like old-school country Western singer Next stop, Dollywood, y'all. In my Tennessee mountain home. Yeah, so that worked. So going away from the face on this side is with the thing upside down is like the way to go to get the turning barrel to work in your favor. And may the odds be ever in your favor. I don't even need to hold the end now because it's turning the right way. The other way, it was like shooting it back out of there. Okay. So we're learning. We're going into our last little pieces. And uh, life is good. Well, that's weird. It's got like a weird little kink in it. Oh, I bet that's where it was twisted because I did accidentally twist that one a little bit. Can't twist it. Don't get it twisted now. Twist it. Stop it. Okay, so right there I'm trying to twist. Okay, untwist. Twist, twist. Left, 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 right. I don't know why I continually do this to you and to me because I'm terrible at it. I also like never do my hair in real life, so this is a farce. The whole thing is a farce. But it's fun, isn't it? Okay. That worked. That worked. Okay, so even though it was going the opposite way, as long as you secure the end well, it will be all right. Whoops, okay, let's pull this like out this way a little bit because we want it to go away from our face. We're gonna do two pieces here. I'm gonna do both of these away from my face. Well, I'm gonna try to do both of these away from the face. Twist it up so that makes it look wonky. 
And there we go. And we're securing the ends because we're definitely going the wrong way and it's trying to suck the end into it. Ah! Hold tight. I'll never let go. I promise. The final piece of hair. Doodle -doo -doo. Doodle -doo -doo -doo. I need my hair done. Look at all those roots. Now again, I could just hold this on there like a wand, but what's the fun in that? My arms are so tired. Does anybody else's arms just feel like they're dying? That's another reason I really like the beach waver dupe is because I don't have to put my arms over my head. Oh my gosh, it's too much. I'm not going to make it. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Please be done. Arms is done. Don't be so dramatic, darling. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look with the InStyler. This is not the InStyler Pro, it's just the regular one. So I would say that it did create really pretty curls. I do not know how long they'll last. We will see, probably not long because I didn't put any product in my hair, but I think it looks really pretty. I just finger combed through them. Once I figured it out, I really, really liked it. I I don't know that it's any easier to use than a regular curling iron, for sure. It's nice that you just squeeze it and it goes. You don't have to like clip a thing, but you do have to hold it squeezed closed the whole time. And you do have to hold it kind of upside down the whole time to curl, which I don't love. I get very tired when I'm getting ready just because of, you know, being chronically ill and all of that. I get exhausted from everything. But if you don't mind that kind of stuff, then I, I think honestly this made prettier curls than the time iron did and it was easier to figure out and it kind of has the same limitations as that device um and you can also use it as a straightener as you can with that one as well it does take a very long time to fully heat up and it does not work unless it's fully heated up i will say that so and you cannot see the temperature you cannot change the temperature it's just on or off i believe on the pro there probably are more options and the barrel only spins in one direction which again on the pro is a little bit different i like it I'd probably use it again. Um, I still stand firm that you could probably do this with a regular curling iron. Um, that Beach Waver iron I've been using or the dupe of it, I really love that. It's so easy and I don't have to hold my arms up. Like if you were going to pick one thing, I'd just go with that. You can get a real similar look. Um, but in general, I would use it again for sure. So thank you, Cynthia, for this awesome new toy that we can play with and uh thank you everyone for watching thank you so much for going on this adventure with me i hope that you enjoyed it and uh keep coming back take care of you we're getting close we're almost done we're gonna eat it will be fun it's, 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 it's.